Hi everyone, my name is Luciano Branco and this is Modern Prediction of COVID-19 Cases, a study case from Brazil. This is a data science application project from ECE 6397, state-space estimation with physiological applications. The outline for this presentation will be an introduction, the methods used, a discussion of the results and possible future directions and conclusions, and our references. Introduction on March 11th, the World Health Organization has declared the current disease 2019 to be a pandemic. Today, almost 1.5 million people are confirmed to be infected, with 400,000 in the US only. The case fatality rate for this disease is being estimated between 1 and 3%, with much higher rates among elderly people. Studies have estimated an incubation period between 2 to 14 days and a basic reproductive number between 1.4 and 3.5. We'll explore why these numbers are relevant now. The incubation period is the time from the initial contact with the pathogenic organism to when the symptoms begin to appear. This is especially important since during this time, the person would still be infectious. The basic reproductive number, or R0, is the expected number of cases generated by one case in a population where all the individuals are susceptible. The effective reproductive number, or RE, is similar to R0, but not all population is considered to be susceptible in this case. The R0 and RE are important because it is commonly accepted that bigger, if the R0 is bigger than 1, the disease will spread, and the bigger they are not, the easier it spreads. Methods We will be using a point process model to estimate the number of new cases in a population uh, of Brazil. We can assume a binary representation of COVID-19 if we look at a person not being sick or being sick. Then, we will be using an SIR model consider the infected portion of our population to follow a Poisson distribution. The lambda in our Poisson distribution would vary on time. The first part of the lambda, the number of events, would be the R0 times the fraction of the susceptible population on the previous day. And the probability part of the lambda would be the sum of probabilities of infection on a given day during the incubation period. However, we can look at the ratio, the actual ratio of infections on the with data set and consider the depletion of susceptible population to be negligible. Then we can use the estimation of the affected reproductive number R hat E. Then, we can find an estimation for our R hat E. We can use likelihood estimation with actual COVID-19 data. The data set used is provided publicly for research and academic purposes. Discussion. The first confirmed case in Brazil was on 26th of February. Since then, this is the number of new cases each day. If we exclude the last day from our estimation of the parameters to later test the model, we get the following results. We can see that the prediction of the number of new cases follow the curve of actual new cases quite well. Then we can use the model to predict the last day's value and compare with the actual value. If we do that, we can see that the model follows the actual data finally we can use this model to forecast one week into the future and this shows us that if no measures are taken with seven days the number of new cases on a given on a given day on a seventh day would surpass 5000 possible future directions and conclusions. As you can see, the model did a decent job 
fit into the real data that we have. It would be interesting to see uh, this applied to a multivariate print process model. This way, we would be able to look into different regions and how they would interact with each other. Another interesting approach would be to estimate the incubation period D along with the RE. This way, we could rest between the minimum and maximum incubation period that we have so far to be between 2 and 14 days. This would help the model to fit to a more precise data and would be which would be good. Also, including a quarantine into our SIR model would make this uh, an interesting model too, because this way we would be more approached to the reality that we're currently living at. And this is our references. Thank you.